hi guys it's me again with another DIY video now this one is absolutely amazing I found this picture on Pinterest Pinterest is pretty much like a virtual scrapbook it's an app that you can get on your phone I stumbled onto Pinterest a couple years ago and I've been using it ever since. So this picture I found and I absolutely love the idea of redecorating a file cabinet. Now, even though I didn't have a file cabinet of my own at the time, I was able to acquire one from a Goodwill for about $10. So this file cabinet, I was able to redesign and use it in my bedroom for storing clothing. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys. Um, I basically broke down how to do this cabinet from beginning beginning to end everything that you will need and how to go about getting it done. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's kind of old because as you can see I still had my locks in this video so it's been about maybe a year and a half close to two years since I made this video but I never got a chance to post it because iMovie was acting up. So hopefully it works with me today. I'm trying to just I'm just gonna post it because I did not record all this footage in vain. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you wanna see more projects, you know I'm always working on something in the house. Let me know and I'll continue to record and share things I do around the house with you. Until next time, keep rising. Okay, so here I have my four drawer file cabinet. And I'm going to start by taking out the handles all the hardware on the front, I'm gonna start by taking those out. And it's pretty simple. Um, you just have to unscrew them from the inside. And then this you can pry open to take out. guys so I'm about finished uh, spray painting it I have everything covered except for the back I think I'm running out of paint but I don't necessarily need to have the back painted because it will be against the wall anyway so that's that painted all that and then I did some of the trimmings I still have to do the silver label borders for the file cabinet but i want to clean them off first so um maybe about an hour let it dry and see what happens i'm happy with the way we are looking so far here on the floor i have panels and right here you can see it says uh lighting panel these are basically the plastic panels that go over your ceiling lights the ceiling tube lights um using this will be very good for the project because it's going to give you some texture uh, only problem is it's extremely hard to cut um, as you can see here it cracked on me um, on these two panels so I might not be able to use those 10 snips is what I use to try to cut the plastic but I was unsuccessful as I showed you a little while ago so instead we are going to use another method we are actually going to use a hot knife and I'm using two because I want this to go pretty fast. As I use one and it starts to cool down, I'll have the other knife ready to go. So 
So all I'm gonna do is put the knife on the mark and the heat is just going to melt through the plastic. And be careful not to touch the metal part. Remember, it's extremely hot from sitting on the fire. So as this one starts to cool down, I'm just gonna switch them out and keep going. The bigger the knife, the better if you're able to control it because the blade is going to cut more of the plastic at one time. So as you can see, that's pretty much a really clean cut. Aha! And also be careful not to put the knife, the plastic part on the fire. Okay, the next thing I did was to go outside and I spray painted the textured part of the panels. And what I'm going to do here is to give you guys a closer look at how exactly cutting the plastic with a hot knife works. When I went to apply the plastic to the front of each of the drawers, I noticed they were still a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do now is trim a piece off of each side just so that they can fit perfectly without rubbing the drawer above or beneath. Okay, so here I am lining up the piece of plastic perfectly so that I can cut off all the extra material that I do not need. All I'm going to do is to hold the hot knife right against the plastic as it singe through and separate the part that I don't need anymore. Just go nice and slow. Be careful not to cut yourself. If possible, cut away from you. But as you can see, it's just singeing through that plastic with no problem at all. So I'm just going to do that to each of the pieces that I have and then I'm ready to go. Another thing to look out for, make sure as you're going back and forth and putting the knife on the stove to remove any plastic that might be on the knife. Um, if it stays on there, it's definitely going to smoke once it starts to heat up on the stove. So you want to avoid that at all costs. Trust me, it is not a good smell. <laughs> so learn from my mistakes. All right, so after resizing each of the panels, I have four. It's time to just go ahead and start applying them to the front of the drawers. Moving right along to our next step. Here I have the panels attached to the front of the drawer with a metal clip. This is going to help me as I basically make holes through the plastic so I can reattach the hardware that I took off earlier in this video. I started out using a marker to mark the back of the panel so that I can go back and cut it accordingly. But in the process, I decided to just go ahead and use the hot knife so I can melt right through it without even taking the panel off. Therefore, I didn't even need to use the marker. So hot knife and just pierce right through the plastic as you can see. And I'm just going to wiggle the knife back and forth. That's going to allow me to make the hole as wide as it can possibly go so that the hardware fits in there nice and easy. Uh, this is starting to sound sexual. I'm sorry, guys. Now here comes the fun part. It is time to attach the panels using the hardware that we took off earlier. So all we have to do now is to line up the panel to the front of each drawer and basically put through the screws and attach it. Once we do that, it's going to hold the panel in place. So right now I'm just inserting both of the screws into the holes that we made with the hot knife. And after I do that, I'm going to screw on the handle
Now it's time to reattach the metal frame that holds the label for each drawer. All we're going to do is to insert it through the plastic and the metal drawer. Then from there, we're just going to lock it in place by bending the pieces of metal that protrude through the drawer. So just go ahead and insert that. Make sure that you snap it all the way through on both sides, nice and secure. And then the piece of metal on the inside, we just bend that into place. One other step that I took to secure the light panel to the front of the drawer was to use liquid nails. That's an adhesive that you can find anywhere at Home Depot or any other supply store. If you have any questions, be sure to link them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Head over to Pinterest to look for other fun ways that you can redesign a file cabinet and be sure to share the pictures with me on my Instagram or my Facebook. Thank you guys so much for watching and sharing this video in advance. I'm so glad to finally get this video up and running. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Have a good one, guys. Bye.